Wukong. Let's get to it. For the abilities, your one iron jab. Explode the iron staff to its true length, knocking down anything in its path. Defy. Escape death by receiving a boost of health when killed. Three is Cloud Walker. Evaporate into a cloud of mist and float through the battlefield. And then four is Primal Fury. Summon the Iron Staff and unleash Fury. Oh, sorry about that. The passive. Increased combo duration. So this he's definitely a melee heavy frame. And you'll see why in a second. Now, weapons I use, Snipetron Vando, however, this weapon is not finished. I'm going to probably need three, well, let's see. Yeah, probably three Forma more because of the Riven. And I'm also working on the Riven, trying to get something better. Punch 2 Multishot is pretty good, but I want to see if I can get something great. If I'm actually shooting anything with Wukong, I'm, I'm, I'm more than likely using my Twin Rogas, which have Lethal Torrent, Jolt, Augur Pact, Pistol Pestilence, Hornet Strike, Prime Heated Charge, Frostbite, and Barrel Diffusion. I also have room for these, but I'm going to need to probably, yeah, at least two more former to fit that on there, so I haven't really worked on that yet. And then, but the the big reason I, I'm, I'm using Wukong, and if I'm using, because I'm using melee all the time with him, it is so much fun is the Zenistar. Now, I have three different builds for this thing. One, if I want to cordon off a certain area, just, you know, make it impossible for the enemies to get through, I use this Blast build, which has Virulent Scourge, Vicious Frost, Volcanic Edge, Prime Fever Strike, Prime Fury, uh, Voltic Strike, Prime Pressure Point, and Prime Reach with Cleaving Whirlwind as a stance. And with, let me show you what the, what I mean by when I want to cordon off something. So if you heavy strike with your Zenistar, you throw up this thing, and it's affected by range. So the more range, the better. And that thing they can't get past. It will have blast on there, and it lasts for what 45 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty nice. So it has a lot of utility to the Zenistar. Now going to the other builds, if I'm going to go with combos, because of Wukong's natural uh, passive, I only need one thing for the combo, so I just use uh, Drifting Contact. And then I also have Weeping Wounds, Berserker, Shocking Touch, Condition Overload, Prime Fury, Prime Pressure Point, and Prime Breach. So that gives you radiation damage because uh, the Zenistar has innate heat damage by itself. And then when I want to be invisible or if I want to attack things without them seeing me, which works at a lot of Warframes with the Zenistar. But um, I use the Gas Bill, which has Organ Shatter, Vol uh, Volcanic Edge, Fever Strike, Viverland Scourge, Spoiled Strike, Molten Impact, Prime Reach and Prime Pressure Point for radiation and gas damage. And I'll show you what I mean by being invisible and doing more damage with something like the Zenistar. So first, let's go get this energy. We'll activate Defy. Let's put these enemies out here. So check this out. So let's throw the thing out there. Because they can't kill me. Defy. And you see the damage is pretty minuscule, right? Then you turn to a cloud. All of a sudden, that damage goes up. A lot. And I can sit here for the duration, and they'll just die. And if they were a corpus, they'd die even faster. Let's come back real quick. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't die, that's what Defy does. I'll lose my health, and once it goes to zero, please go to zero. Shoot me! 
Shoot thing. But I have a moment of visibility for about seven seconds with my build. And they can't hurt me, can't do any damage right now until I come back. And then when I do, I come back with a certain percentage of health. Now there is a point where you come back and you don't have enough health. So to easily fix that, turn to a cloud. Float away. Nice and peaceful like. Find somewhere safe. Let's say behind this pillar. There shouldn't be any way they can hit me from here. Turn off defy. Turn away from a cloud. Turn the vibe back on. And when they do hit me again. More health. Here's an example of Prime Fury, which is four. It's similar to stuff like Exalted Blade, where you get an exalted weapon. Now it's not that great with a gas build. I'm just showing you the four right now. I'll show you what my combo build is a lot better. But just to get you an idea, you have a you have your different set of combos and things like that. His one basically just punches people. If you hit him right, they come flying. There we go. It's pretty funny. Not a great one, but it's funny. Get off the map. I do believe it's also affected by Prime Reach. Let's see. Nah, not not far enough. I thought it could be a little further. There we go. Get off the map. Hey, get off the map, I said. There. Alright. Turn that off. Now we'll show you with the combo build. It does a lot more damage and a lot faster over time. Alright, I'll bring back those guys. But as you can see with Wukong, I don't know why he doesn't get used as much. Especially because you can get him so early. I think if you just got to be an MR2 and have uh, people who have it done in the dojo, as long as you're part of a clan, he's available to you. You see how much faster it is with this build as opposed to my gas. And now if you can imagine a weapon that has even better combo potential, more damage, like Wan Dao, um, Castle War, Nikana Prime, I'll show that off too. It gets kind of ridiculous. I just wanted to show you the difference. You guys gotta stop knocking me over. This just gives you an idea. And because I can't die, it's like, this, you have no fear using whatever you want to. And then because of Hunter Adrenaline, which I haven't shown off anything for the full yet, I'll show that off in a second. Hey, Pro Dip, uh, Death Sniper, how's it going? But because of things like that, you're, you're impossible to kill. And even when you get close to dying, I'm gonna just turn to a cloud. Screw you guys, I'm going over here. Turn to fire off. You can what you can do when you're in the cloud form. Go behind the pillar. Turn everything off. I want to turn back to fire, and now I'm back to where I can't die. And you just rinse, wash, repeat anytime you get in trouble. Let me get rid of these guys real quick. Kill them, and we'll show off the build. So for Wukong, I got still charge. Cunning Drift, Prime Continuity, Hunter Adrenaline, that helps you keep your energy up no matter what. Once they do health damage, you'll get um, a percentage of that back for energy, which is uh, 45%. Prime Flow for more energy, Narrow Minded for the extra duration, you don't really need range. 
vitality, bleeding expertise for efficiency, more efficiency with streamline and steel fiber for armor. So when they actually do hit you with, um, when you have to hit your health, you have to uh, take less damage. Could you help me get my first prime? Uh, Pro Death Sniper, who are you trying to get? Now let me show you a different weapon, something that's better for combos and things like that. Uh, let's see, where's my Guadal? Where are you? Did I pass it up? I think I did. There we go. Show you the one. Banshee or uh, Valkyr. Do you have their um, their relics? Okay. So just quickly going over uh, Guandal, Blood Rush, Gladiator Rush, Gladiator Vice, Prime Reach, Prime Pressure Point, Interesting Contact, Gladiator Might, and Maiming Strike with Shimmering Blight as the stance. And then I'm gonna load these bad boys up. Oh. Forgot to get the energy. There we go. Really wish they wouldn't knock me down. Oh, MR5. Oh, I didn't mean to turn on four. <laughs> I forgot. I was going to keep that off. I'm like, where are my damage at? Oh, that's why. See, there you go. Something with better combo potential. Bam. Stuff starts dying. You can't die. They can't stop you. You have plenty of time with uh, his his full uh, his uh, passive. There you go. I wanted to say power, I don't know why. But play this game too long, I know better than that. Turn off the fire, if you get in trouble, don't gotta worry about your combo kinda going down. Back in, doing the same type of damage. Which is really nice. So we'll get rid of these guys real quick. With some iron jabs. We'll call it a video. Get out of here. Don't do. You have served your purpose. Oh, they don't want to go. Fine, I'll do it this way. Get joinks. There we go. So that's him in a nutshell. That's Wukong. Can't die. Do what you want with uh, melee weapons. Take your best one. Just start, start going to town, I guess. That extra duration is so nice. So that's calling that for a video, guys. I'll catch you later. My name is Legend Greatness. Hope you enjoyed. As always, strive for greatness in everything you guys do. I'll see you next time. Peace!